Hi, my name is Antonis and I'm the iconographer of this drawing. Uh, here I want to share with you some tips on this amazing exercise of uh, drawing and uh, this exercise can be applied uh, both uh, when painting an icon, when drawing an icon or when we want to study a master painter of uh, the Renaissance, the Baroque or anything we want. Uh, we can also use uh, this exercise before painting a portrait and uh, this uh, really helps uh, a lot. So, as you see, I have uh, already uh, drawn my uh, Virgin Mary here on uh, my paper and uh, now uh, this, uh, in, in order to do this exercise, I want to shade the, the face of Virgin Mary and Christ, the whole icon, with uh, just uh, a pencil and uh, uh, to discover and uh, to place the shapes of uh, shadow and uh, light on uh, her face. So little by little as you see and uh, very carefully uh, here I'm using a very soft uh, pencil uh, it's uh, 8B uh, the number of this pencil but you can use any kind of uh, pencil you like. With uh, the use of uh, this pencil I will uh, start shading the face of uh, Virgin Mary here, little by little, and uh, as you see, I am uh, uh, really defining the uh, the areas where uh, I have my strongest uh, shadows, my strongest uh, darks, and uh, I define also the shapes of uh, light on her face and on uh, her uh, clothes, little by little. This is um, a very uh, effective exercise because uh, it will uh, help us uh, familiarize ourselves with uh, the icon that we will uh, later on paint. It will help us uh, be more uh, uh, precise and uh, more careful. It will help us uh, see the areas of uh, the lights that we will later on paint. This is important because in many cases, especially um, beginner iconographers, uh, have a great drawing but uh, when they are to place and paint the forms of uh, light and shadow, uh, they just uh, um, place them in a not uh, correct uh, way. So this way um, and without uh, a lot of uh, cost, it's just uh, um, a study on a piece of paper, we, uh, we familiarize ourselves with the shapes uh, and uh, we become more aware of where to place these uh, uh, shadows and lights. So there is not a specific method to how to shade uh, a face, just uh, by being uh, a little bit careful and slowly darkening uh, our uh, shapes. It's uh, much like the watercolor uh, technique where we gradually go from light to shadow. The same thing here with our pencil and uh, I try to not lose while I'm shading, I, I'm trying to not uh, lose or uh, shade completely the facial features of uh, the figure that uh, I am drawing. And at the same time, I am observing very much my uh, reference photo in order to see how dark I will, uh, uh, I will go or how light. Hi, I'm Antonis and I'm proud to present you my online course on iconography, Paint an Icon with me. This course will help you become a better iconographer and it will help you be more confident when talking and presenting your artwork. It will make you understand in depth the studio practices of a professional iconographer like me and you will get accustomed to what great iconography looks like. So learn in a simple and organized way everything you need about the materials, mediums and techniques in order to make a beautiful icon. Paint with me the icon of Christ and learn how to paint better any icon you wish. I will see you at the studio.
the result of uh, this exercise, as you see, is uh, a very charming drawing. And um, you can use also a little bit your uh, fingers to smear these shadows, make them a little bit more uh, um, soft, uh, if you like. But uh, it doesn't really matter. The important is to really transfer on this drawing, by doing this exercise, to transfer these relationships and uh, the uh, of darkness uh, of shadows and uh, light uh, to transfer on your drawing the uh, contrast between the light and the shadow in a way that is corresponding to the original uh, uh, photograph or to the original print that uh, you use now if you want to uh, to learn uh, how i've drawn with uh, this drawing on my paper with the use of lines you can find this tutorial on my patreon page and really i want to thank my supporters there for their help it's really amazing um, we also do these live streams where we get to meet each other on camera and talk about uh, our uh, uh, work, uh, our um, either no matter if it is uh, iconography or uh, painting, talk about techniques and uh, uh, share uh, our um, thoughts and opinions on uh, the work. It's really nice and I want to thank you so much. These live streams have been amazing so far. I also want to thank you for your beautiful, amazing comments uh, here. And um, many of you tell me how helpful these videos here on YouTube are for you, uh, how inspiring they are for you. And this is uh, very, very, um, very rewarding for me. So thank you all uh, so much. So this is uh, really a nice uh, exercise and uh, I have to say it was very very satisfying to, <laughs> to do while I was doing this shading on the face of uh, Virgin Mary. Uh, it was very contemplative, it was very um, hypnotic uh, let's say. So really, uh, I urge you to, to do this exercise, especially if uh, you are uh, new in iconography and you want to learn uh, more. This exercise will help you avoid uh, so much uh, uh, later on when you are in the process of painting the icon. So don't skip this exercise and try to do as much uh, of this as you can. Of course, I am. Um, I uh, the important here is to have a strong basis of drawing, whereupon the shading will uh, happen. So it's important to to have done already your exercises on the eyes. Uh, the nose, how to draw properly a nose, the eyes in iconography. It's very important uh, that you are already uh, familiar with uh, these lessons. And uh, here, as you see, little by little, I will try to shade also the whole figure of uh, Virgin Mary and Christ and uh, to uh, transfer these relationships of uh, lines and shadow. I will not, uh, while I'm doing this exercise, I will not get into an extreme detail. For example, I will not, uh, of course, draw everything that I see on the clothes or on the, um, the way, for example, uh, the cloth of Christ is uh, painted. I will not draw each and every detail, but uh, I will try to draw all the folds of uh, the clothes as best uh, as I can. The important uh, thing and the, the goal of this ex exercise is uh, to familiarize myself, to spend uh, more time with uh, uh, this painting uh, as much as I can. And uh, this will definitely have an impact uh, later on when I will paint this uh, icon. Many iconographer students just print uh, their uh, the icon they want to uh, to study, to paint, they just print it and transfer directly from the print on their board. 
but uh, in my opinion um, uh, we should uh, uh, use the grid method as I describe it and uh, uh, to create a very accurate very nice uh, drawing this will help us uh, uh, see how great drawings look like, like and avoid uh, any mistakes so I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you again so much for being here. Visit my Patreon page if you want. You will see so, so, much, so many tutorials there. And stay healthy, stay creative. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye.